हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सीबीएसई क्लास टेंथ मैथ्स एक्सरसाइज 5.2 क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 द सम ऑफ फोर्थ एंड एथ टर्म ऑफ एन एपी इज 24 एंड द सम ऑफ द सिक्स्थ एंड द टेंथ टर्म्स इज 44 फाइंड द फर्स्ट थ्री टर्म्स ऑफ द एपी सो generally what students are think, thinking when sum is written they are trying to use the sum formula sum of nth term formula no here we are we are not going to use that they told the sum of fourth and the eighth term so what we have to do we have to just add the fourth and the eighth term and that is 24 so from this we are going to find out one equation look here how we can do a4 means a plus 3d and then addition again a8 means a plus 7d that will be equal to 24 now open the bracket here plus is there so note sign is going to change directly we can add a plus a it will be 2a plus 3 plus 7 10d equals to 24 you can reduce this by taking two common reduce two common so a plus 5d is equal to 24. Now take these two in the denominator. What will happen? A plus 5d is equal to 24 by 2. So this will be 12. So what will happen? First equation is a plus 5d is equal to 12. Now from the second thing that they had, sum of the sixth and the tenth term is 44. So now we have to do sum of sixth term and tenth term. That is 44. So what is sixth term? A plus 5d, tenth term that is a plus 9d equals to 44. So again, addition of plus sign is there, so no sign is going to change. Now directly we can add. This will be 2a plus 9 plus 5, 14d is equal to 44. Again, here also we can take out two common. Without taking out two common, also directly from these two equation also we can eliminate. But here we are reducing. It. Now seven d two of a taken out common equals to forty four. So what will happen? A plus seven d is equal to forty four by two. That will be twenty two. So a plus seven d is equal to twenty two. This is equation number two. From this first and second equation, we can find out a and d by just eliminating it. A plus five d equals to twelve. A plus seven d Equals to twenty two, so we are going to eliminate subtract minus minus minus. So this will get cancelled. Five d minus seven d minus two d twelve minus twenty two minus ten minus minus will get cancelled. So d will be ten by two. That is five. Now you got d equals to five, and from put this d in any of the single equation, you will get a. Again, look here. I am going to put a plus five into five equals to twelve. So a plus twenty-five equals to twelve. So a will be twelve minus twenty-five. So a will be thirty. Now we got sorry minus thirty. Now we got that a is equal to minus thirteen and d is equal to five. They told us to find out the first three terms. So what will be our first term of a p? That is a. Minus thirty. Now the difference is plus five. So add plus five in this. That will be minus eight, and then minus six. So these are the next three terms. Moving towards question number nineteen. Subha Rao started work in nineteen ninety five at an annual salary of rupees five thousand, and received an increment of rupees two hundred each year. In which year did his income reach? Rupees seven thousand. So what we have to do here? First, they had given that the in salary is five thousand in the first year. So our A will be five thousand. Now every year, C is getting an increment of rupees two hundred. So our difference will be plus two hundred and reach at seven thousand. So our A N will be seven thousand. So at after how many years we want to find out the number of years 
when it will a, c will read to 7000 so again a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d now 7000 equals to 5000 plus n that we want to find minus 1 and difference that is 200 directly first subtract 7000 minus 5000 equals to i am i can multiply also but i am not going to multiply directly i will take this 200 in denominator here after subtraction now here it's 2000 and this will go in the denominator that will be n minus 1 so this will get cancelled and this will become 10 10 this plus 1 equals to n so n will be 11 so after or in the 11th year her salary will become 7000 rupees in the 11th year her salary will become 7000 mm, moving towards the last question that is question number 20 ramkali saved rupees 5 in the first week of the year and then increased her weekly savings by rupees 1.75 if in the nth week her weekly saving be becomes rupees 20.75 find n so again here also we want to find out n so what will be a first she saved rupees 5 so a will be rupees 5 difference her weekly increase is rupees 1.75 so difference will be that and her saving becomes rupees 20.75 so our an will be 20.75 now we want to find out n so an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d what is an that is 20.75 a that is rupees 5 plus n minus 1 into d that is 1.75 now take this 5 on this side 20.75 minus 5 equals to n minus 1 into 1.75 so here what will happen here it will become 15.75 upon this will come in denominator 1.75 equals to n minus 1. Now generally student don't know or they make mistake in this type of division. So what I am going to do look here I am doing it here 1575 first remove the decimal take 100 in the denominator here also remove the decimal decimal 175 take that 100 in the numerator directly cancel this now you can cancel this with the help of 5 also or 25 also if it is possible now i am going to do it with the 5 5 3 is a 15 and 5 is a 25 5 3 is a 15 carry 1 and 5 again you can see we can cancel it with the 5 it's 7 and here you can see 6 and 3 now again we can see 7 1 zai and 7 9 zai. so what will happen here it will come 9 so 9 now take this minus 1 here this will become plus so our n will be 10 find n a told us. so this way we can solve this three sum thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much